guys, welcome or welcome back to a new video. For this one, I thought I would do a thrift slash op shop haul of new things for my little art studio. My studio at the moment is not as functional as I would like it to be. It's quite messy, disorganized, kind of reflects the way that my brain is. But I thought there are a lot of things that I could get that would make the space a lot more functional. So yesterday I went op shopping, I picked up a bunch of new things to make my space better. What I was looking for was some storage items, so something that I could use to like keep my paper goods and stationery supplies and other things. And also just like little bits of fun vintage decor, depending on what I could find. And I ended up having a really good experience finding a lot of things that I'm really happy with and at a really low price. So yeah, yesterday I filmed a bit of footage of me shopping, so I'll show that so you can kind of come along with me and see what I got. And then at the end of this video, I'll do a little haul. So here's the big bag. Oh, let everything fall out. Here's the big bag of stuff that I got. I'll show you a little haul of everything that I got from Savers, which is like, I think they're in the US as well, but they're probably like the one of the biggest op shops slash thrift stores that we have in my area. So the first thing I got was these came in a set. I've actually got one on my desk here right now, but they're just little placemats and they seem to be like genuine vintage, I'm assuming 70s based on the pattern. This was $5.99 and as you can see from the label, looks like genuine vintage linen cotton made in Poland. This other orange and apple one that I got just came in a set too. So there's two of these and two of the floral design. And again, this was $5.99 for the set. Um, cotton linen made in Poland too. So they're obviously from the same set and they look like they've never been used. They're like in pristine condition. When I go op shopping, I like to pick up things that are multifunctional. So I thought even if I don't use this as a placemat, I can use them as part of my table displays when I do markets and artist alleys and that kind of thing. They kind of fit in with my vibe and my colour scheme. I really love like vintage stuff, especially 60s and 70s. You could even use them as like a tapestry or a wall hanging, just as a decorative piece. And if you wanted to, this could even be like a pin, um, like a tapestry for displaying pins, but I probably won't use it for that because it is in such good condition for its age. I don't want to put holes through it. Also got this similar, it's another tablecloth, or well, not a tablecloth, what are these called? Um, to a hand towel. Or kitchen towel and this one's just got a lot of vintage I can show you better vintage illustration of some Australian water birds which is really cool I'm not sure what year this one is from but again it looks like 60s 70s it says designed in Australia pure linen pure linen hand painted hand printed fast colors but again it's like these kitchen towels were um kind of like collectible items I guess back in the day. They weren't actually used in the kitchen so they obviously, this one has probably just been folded away in a drawer for you know 40 years or so and now it belongs to me so that's really cool. And I like things that have like hand painted um, original illustrations by like local Australian artists on them because it's really inspiring. It's a good way to get like cheap genuine vintage artwork. And another good thing about looking for these types of items is I wanted to touch on this um, this is like a little gingham print. There's a red one and a green one. Yeah, I'll say one of the best things, um, if you're going to an op shop and you're looking for true vintage, one of the best places to look is in the like linen section that has the tablecloths, the placemats, um, curtains, fabric, all that kind of stuff, because you can find genuine vintage in like excellent condition. Just because I think it's not a place that most people would look. I normally look around like the knickknack section and I never find anything, it's like very rare to find anything genuine vintage and the same in the clothing section. I did find this crochet top but this was a rare find and I think this is 90s but if you want to find something like genuine 60s, 70s vintage I would recommend looking in the linen section because yeah no one really goes there and you can find really good quality vintage stuff like this 1998 calendar is really cool. I obviously prefer um, like 60s and 70s vintage stuff, that's more my style, but I thought this definitely had the colour palette and all the mushrooms on there are very 70s. I like that it's hand painted artwork so it's really inspirational to me as an artist. And yeah, this is really cool. You can definitely use it as a wall hanging, you don't obviously have to use it as a kitchen towel if you don't want to. The fact that it has been obviously never been used for that purpose, um, 
I probably wouldn't. I would just display it on the wall or you could even put it in a frame. And the same goes for products would make really nice wall hangings. I also got these placemats, which are Tree Garden Flowers by Dorothy Bovey. I assume she's an Australian artist. These look like they might be 70s as well, although can't be certain. These look like they might never have been used either. They have like, this one's got a little scuff mark in the corner. But apart from that, there's all these different floral designs which are really pretty, very inspiring. I really like botanical illustrations, so this is the kind of stuff that I look for when I go thrifting. All these different designs, really cool. And the colour palette as well is really nice. I might even use these as like inspiration for my own piece or maybe do a master study of one of these because they're really cool. I'm definitely going to look into more of Dorothy Bovey's artwork. Yeah, I might th might use these as actual placemats, maybe some of them on my table. And otherwise they could be great for like background props and product photography or again for displaying items at markets or just for general decor in your home studio. The other thing that I got was this... Um, kind of paper holder. I'm not sure if that's what it is. I noticed it has on the back it says seeds, flowers and herbs. So I don't know if it's meant to be like a seed box, but this was one of the first things that I saw and I thought it was super cool. It's got like these sort of embossed um, botanical floral il illustrations all around. Definitely looks very 70s, very much my vibe. So I'm just using that to hold all of my sticker paper and stuff. I also got this gingham tablecloth that I'm just using to make my desk space look a bit nicer and that's where I'm using. Definitely going to do like a full office rearranging thing in the future so I'll show you. I'll probably make a video about that in the next. That video will probably be coming really soon. But yeah, I need to sort out this whole area. And yeah, this is what I used one of these placemats for just underneath my keyboard. I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. I really like how that looks. And the other thing I got was these earrings. Um, obviously not relevant to my studio, but I thought I'd show you, show them, I thought I'd show you them anyway. They're like this earthy colour that I like, and um, yeah, quite pretty. And this crochet top, and also these corduroy, these brown corduroy trousers, I can't really show you if I stand back here. Yeah, brown corduroy pants, uh, brown corduroy pants. I think they're just from, they're just like, I think vintage Target, like probably early 2000s or something like that, or they might even be newer than that. But they're corduroy, so that's 70s enough for me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'll probably make another video soon showing you how I use these items in my home studio. Do like a, I might do a studio tour as it is now, and then a video after that will be a studio makeover type thing and see if I can get this place much more functional and matching my aesthetic and all that. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see another studio vlog, please click on this video here. I have a whole playlist of studio vlogs. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much because that doesn't happen very often. Please leave a frog emoji in the comments so I know that you made it this far. Thank you for watching, bye.